Believe it or not, bathrooms are actually one of my favorite spaces to design. I like making them bright and fresh and kind of reinventing them and making them super functional. This bathroom, when we first saw it, was kind of builder's beige. It had a lot of good things going for it. It's big, as you can see, and it had tons of options for giving them extra storage and adding like some personality to it. We didn't want to be too precious, and there's two little boys that share this bathroom. They're nine and they're five, so we wanted kind of an in-between, not too kid themed, you know, we wanted them to be able to grow into it as well. And also it serves as a guest room bathroom as well. So we wanted it to be sophisticated and adult friendly as well as kid friendly. We had good space to work with here. This bathroom is nine by 10, which is fantastic. But what we didn't want to do was change the footprint because that ups your cost when you're renovating. So we kept everything where it was, we just zhuzhed it. This bathtub was a big, beautiful soaker jetted tub, which, you know, those things have to go. So we replaced it and then we just added this beautiful little molding detail at the front of the tub and then the custom vanity, which I love. And I mean, the wood of this just warms everything up. So we were able to do darks and lights, which sometimes can seem very graphic and cold, but with the warmth of the wood, it feels inviting. We actually took a long time deciding on the whites of this tile. We had I don't know, probably 25 samples, believe it or not. But it really took the right shade that didn't feel cold, the right size that didn't feel too mincy or too traditional. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out, but it also really just brought this brightness and this light. And I feel like it just increased the whole ceiling height of this room. It's really lovely. With all the white in here, we really needed some punches of color. So we did that with the art, and then we also added the graphic fixtures. So we have matte black everywhere. They look clean, they look contemporary to me. I think they just really feel like the finishing touch to the space. I'm a big fan of Slate. I use it whenever I can, and this was the perfect place to put it in. We used a four by 12 tile, and then we just laid it in a herringbone pattern. I think that's a really good way to add some oomph to your space if you just rethink the traditional layouts of tile and kind of turn it on its head. Shower floors can get slippery, so we really wanted to make sure because there's kids using this bathroom, that that was safe for them. So we went with slate again, but we just did a smaller mosaic, and when you have more grout lines, you have less slip. For the finishing touches in any room I do, I really like to concentrate on shopping local for those things that are one of a kind. For this bathroom, it was the Roman blind, and we went to Buy Jewel's shop. She's on Etsy, she's local to Ontario, and she did a really beautiful job, and it just added that softness that the bathroom needed. A really good tip if you wanna do some savings on top of your splurging, which we did in this bathroom, is to get your art from Etsy or Minted, and you get these digital prints that you can get printed off, and then we just use simple IKEA frames here. They're not glass fronted, they're plastic fronted. So it's super safe for kids. If they fall, no one's gonna get hurt. This was a fairly simple renovation, actually, but the results are huge, and we are so happy with the way it turned out. Thanks for watching me on House and Home. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and make sure you subscribe.